Hi everyone, it's Virginia here with another tutorial to Copic Marker Europe. I'm sure you are doing your creations for Christmas, so I've decided to give you an idea. I hope you like it. For me, there's nothing as sweet as a bow for Christmas. And today I've decided to show you how to color this bow font. If you want to, to watch my tutorial, uh, let's start. As I told you in other tutorials, uh, the first thing I have to do is to decide the, where the light source is. For example, uh, today I'm, I decided that the source light is here. Okay. Then I know that the, the darkest uh, areas in my, in my um, stamp sorry, are here and here, and here, and here, okay? Here, and here. And also I have to decide what part in my stem is, uh, is up or down in order to give a little of volume. For example, the the head is up obviously so the part that is down have to to have a shadow here too and here too okay and under the the hat i don't remember i think it's a hat i'm not sure sorry here okay i think that I've marked all the darkest areas, as you see, as you can see. Okay, then I take my my lightest color. I'm going to use E31. The reason, because as I told you in other tutorials too, uh, if I make a mistake, I can rectify with other colors but if i start using the darkest it's impossible to rectify okay then after deciding the the darkest areas and the light source remember i start to to color The only thing I've done is uh, to, to mark, to, to, to place the darkest areas in my, in my stamp, okay? To have uh, only an idea. Now I'm going to start with other colors, but never, I, ne I, I, mm, I, don't, I don't usually start with the darkest. I usually go from lightest to the darkest color. The reason, as always, uh, to have the opportunity of rectify if I make a mistake. Then um, I start. I'm going to use uh, the color E33, but this time I'm not going to color in cycles. I'm going to color with little dots. And I'm like you can see the dots. I take my, my marker.
Okay, this is only for the, um, for having an idea. Um, it's uh, it's the first step to to color my my bear, my bear fur. And now I'm going to 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 make to do a second round. Okay. This is uh, my first step uh, in which I have an idea of the, the darkest and the lightest uh, areas, areas sorry, in, my, um, in my stamp. And now I'm going to, to color uh, the rest of the, of the bear uh, in, a second, in a second round. Well, and this is the result after using my E31 in order to blend in all the rest of the colors. You can see the texture um, in my in my buffer. And now it's uh, it's time to use the darkest color, okay? In the darkest areas, obviously. Let's uh, let's see. my last step uh, I'm going to recolor in with some of the colors for example this one in order to to blend in my E47 
well, and this is the result. Um, you can repeat the step as many times as you consider until you feel satisfied. I usually repeat it uh, at least twice, sometimes a little more, or at least uh, some details, some parts of my stuff, but no more. Um, well, um, for example here, I have to... E I forgot this part, sorry. Okay. And here, a little more, but no more. <coughs> sorry. This bell is going to be part of uh, a big project. It's part of a mini album that I'll show you in another video. Video. That's all for now. Um, I hope you like it. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Uh, bye.